In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord be with you. We gather in prayer today on the great feast. We gather to celebrate the Trinity, and we must ask forgiveness also for our sins, because we have sinned and sometimes done wrong, and so we ask God's blessing upon us and forgiveness. Risen Lord, you lead your disciples to your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Risen Lord, your death brought life to the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Risen Lord, your spirit lives in your chosen people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. From the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, Ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any good venture to go and take a nation for himself for the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war? with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above, on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments and enjoin on you today that you and your children after you may prosper and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption, through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the great feast of the Trinity, and perhaps you may have noticed in hearing them, the three readings, that the first reading refers to Moses and speaks of the commandments that he gave to the Israelites. Ask now of the days of old before your time, ever since God created man upon earth, Ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God and so on? And the Israelites did. This is in reference to the Father, to God, who guided the people of Israel. And in the second, the third reading, the Gospel from Matthew, there is reference, of course, to Christ, the second person of the Trinity. And just as in the first, the reference is not to the Trinity as it exists within God, but to the actions of the Trinity by Moses and now by Jesus Christ, the Son. So the reference here is to the Son, and this this is the closing paragraph in Matthew's Gospel, and it says, go into all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Bible never mentions the word Trinity, of course, but these kinds of references which group together the Father and Son and Holy Spirit make it clear that they are referring to the Trinity. And the second reading this morning is from Paul to the Romans. Those who are led by the Spirit are sons or children of God. So the three readings refer to the Holy Trinity, but they do so not in terms of the Trinity itself, as it is in God, but as to the actions of the Trinity in the human community, the work of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that is external to God himself. This is in contrast to the preface, which I shall read in a few minutes during the Mass. The preface says, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. This is the preface. For with you, with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. There's a much different treatment here that concerns the interior life of God as Trinitarian. Now I suggest, as a pastoral kind of person, that it is much more profitable for us ordinary Christians, as opposed to the theologians who may be listening, to think of God not as God in himself being a trinity is endless, difficult discussion. Rather to think of God as active in the world, as he is. The biblical trinity talks about the work of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Not just in the world, but in your heart and mine. There are times when the Father speaks to us, as in the Ten Commandments, when the Spirit speaks to us at special moments, and when Christ speaks to us. So if you wish to conceptualize our relationship to the trinity, I suggest not that you pray to the Trinity as above us, but as a baptized Christian and Catholic, you may pray within the Trinity, with the Son in whom we are baptized. By the gift of the Spirit, we pray to the Father, more within the Trinity than to the Trinity. And that comes from simple teaching and the experience of the biblical Trinity which ought to be ours as good, faithful Christians as we celebrate Trinity Sunday. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Would you please stand for our profession of faith? You'll notice that the creed is in Trinitarian terms. We pray first of our belief in the Father, then the Son, then the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father is adored and glorified, and who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. To the merciful and gracious Lord of all, let us pray. For our church, that we may be always faithful to our calling to be the holy people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve the church as pastors, that they may lead us in carrying out all that Jesus has commanded us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations and peoples of the world, that they may glorify the Creator through the responsible care and just sharing of God's holy creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and guardians help their children grow in the wisdom and knowledge of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering and dying, 
that they may know the life of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, that they may be heirs of the eternal life of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we call out to you, the God who lives in us and through us. Help us to love others as you love us and love them. We make these prayers to you, the Father, Son, and Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please pray then with me, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, this oblation of our service and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and dark angels, cherubim and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May we welcome each other with a greeting or an out of peace. Peace, thank you. Peace, brothers. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. And may the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The communion antiphon, since you are the children of God, God has sent into your hearts the spirit of his son, the spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may almighty God bless you Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May we go in peace now to love and serve the Lord.